so so hello guys welcome to the new video in this video we are going to see that how can you use folium uh, to fetch live user location firstly we need to open our vs code so now here you will be needing some files one is m.py which is our python file m.py okay and uh, some template files that is html files one will be index.html and the second one will be map.html this map.html file uh, you will get this file in your description box because this file contains many you can say libraries so I will directly provide this to you for now let's create our index.html okay let's title this page as location tracker and we will use a script tag here because we need a function named as get location yes this is the function that we need what this will do is this will uh, get the current position of the user you can say then what you have to do is create a new function outside this function yes uh, this show position function but in a different way show position which will accept a parameter position then curly braces then document dot document dot get element by id with latitude and value this now we will do this for longitude and now we will uh, send this to our submit a uh, su server document dot location form so this will be used for submitting our geolocation now what you have to do in body section is on load get location function will be executed and this will create a post method and this is not this here action will be our slash map we will hit a route named as slash map and ID for this will be location form, which will you, which will be used to, uh, you can say, apply CSS. Okay, now let's create our app.py from Flask. Import Flask. Render template and request. We also need render template. Now we need to import fol uh, folium. Firstly, we have to install folium. I have already installed it, but I am showing the I am showing you this that how can you install folium. So 
so this is showing requirement already satisfied now close your terminal and now let's create our app app equal to class underscore name now we will create our first route app dot route this will be our index function and return index dot html so so now we have to create a new route which will be used by this particular index page and this is the route that is a slash map okay let's create a new route at app dot route this is the route just a second yes let's create a function inside this okay but this function will uh, will accept float values so let's enclose this in float values and this too okay and this next line will will send your you can say location to folium with the default zoom degree of 12 i will set it to 10 okay and in this you will see you are here okay and this will not return this instead firstly we need to save the map that is this m dot save templates slash uh, map dot html which will save our default location in this file then we just have to return map dot html return map dot html okay let's run our code okay okay we can do one more thing before proceeding let's go in our index.html instead of seeing a blank page we can it's better if we see a you can see some things on that page uh, you can type here like fetching your location fetching your location and align it at center the style equal to we are using some basic styling align items center okay sorry 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 text align center instead of this text align center text align center fetching your location it will look more good now okay so now let's proceed in our app and run it let's check allow this okay okay so we have typed latitude here in this map.html i guess sorry index.html i guess yes let's go now you can see code and change this to latitude and this to longitude longitude now save this file and run this again yeah now it is showing our correct location you can you can reset the default zoom like i have set it to 10 you can set it to uh, like uh, you can say 5 and now you can see this if you want you can set it to even 0 so this is the default view at zero now let's set it to 10 again or 5 is better so 
so guys that's all for this video hope you have liked this now let's see you next time